everyone, welcome back to another at-home science experiment. Today we have a really fun experiment, especially for the summer months with it warming up, hopefully. Um, we are doing bubbles, and this is a different bubbles that you probably have never tried before, so it's really cool. And all you need for that is a shallow bowl, some dish soap, water, a spoon, a water bottle, an old rag, and about the rag, um, the the thinner the rag is, the easier it is to blow the bubbles, but you can use a towel-like texture as well. Like I said, it's just a little bit easier the thinner the material is, so just grab an old rag or even like an old t-shirt if you can. That'll work great. Um, and then you also will need a rubber band. Um, and then as well as that, you need to be cutting the um, water bottle, so an adult needs to use a knife to do that. So once you have all these materials together, let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is cut down your water bottle to about the size that I have here. And as you can see, it's not perfect, and you do want to be careful because it is a little bit pointy. But you just want to cut right where the paper starts, and that will be the perfect size for this. Um, but you do want to be careful because an adult needs to do this part because you need to use your knife or your scissors to be um, cutting it. So again, make sure your grown-up is doing that. Um, and go ahead and pause your video and cut down your water bottle to the size I have here. Next step to do after you have cut your water bottle down is secure your rag to your water bottle using the rubber band. And all you're going to do to do this is pull it up around the neck of the water bottle and then wrap it around with the rubber band. Um, and just to point this out too, you might want to cut down your rag a little bit um, just because if it's too long, you'll have too much excess hanging off and it'll just be a hassle to deal with. So if you want to cut it down to about the size I have here, no specific length, but just long enough that it can wrap around the water bottle, but um, not too long that you have so much excess hanging off. So go ahead and pause your video and wrap it around and I'll have an example of what that will look like in our next clip. So this is what your water bottle should now look like after you've secured your rag on it. You can see that the opening of the top of the water bottle is still seen through here, but it is secured with the um, rubber band under here. And it's pulled really tight underneath this on the wider opening. So you wanna make sure it's pulled tight and it's not hanging loose or anything like that, and that you wanna make sure you can still see this top part of the water bottle as well. So go ahead and pause and secure your rag to the water bottle using your rubber band. Now it's time to put the water bottle aside and make the bubble solution. And to do this, you only need two ingredients, which is the water and the dish soap. So first we're gonna fill up our bowl with water. And it doesn't have to be exact, I'm using one fourth cup, um, but you really just wanna make sure that whatever bowl you're using, that you are filling it up about an inch or two um, off the bottom with water. And so go ahead and pause your video and fill your bowl with water. It's a little bit hard to see, but I do have my water in my bowl now. So the next step is to put the dish soap into your bowl as well. And I'm using just the spoon here. It's not an exact measurement, but it's about a teaspoon. And I'm going to put two spoonfuls of that into my bubble solution and then mix it up to all together. And then, so if you guys want to do this with me, go ahead and pause your video and mix in your dish soap. Now it's time to actually create your bubbles. And to do this, first you need to take off the water bottle cap like I've done already. And then you're going to dip just the bottom end in your bubble solution. And then once that is all soaked in the butter bubble solution, you're going to blow in the top part of the water bottle where you would normally drink out of and observe what happens on the other end. So just a warning, this can get a little bit messy, so if you want to go outside, do it over a sink, that's probably the best idea here. But otherwise, go ahead and pause your video and make some bubbles. So how did we make our bubbles? The answer to this question is surface tension, or in other words, the stuff that holds liquid molecules together. When you add soap into water, like we did for our bubble solution, it lowers the surface tension of the water. 
This means that it has more space between the molecules in the liquid, which gives it enough room to form the bubbles. The perfect book to pair with this experiment is called The Big Bad Bubble, um, and this is a really funny book all about how monsters are actually supposedly um, scared of bubbles, so it goes perfectly along with our bubble theme. But otherwise, I hope that you can use this experiment during the summer months outside. Maybe you can even show your friends this new way of making bubbles um, and that you enjoyed this experiment. I know I did, um, but otherwise, we will see you next week.